Question number nine. The magnitude of the resistance of the three coplanar vectors f1, f2, and f3 is most nearly what number? We know this question is talk about the force. It belongs to the statics. So we can find all the uh, formulas, uh, definitions, and the descriptions in FE handbook, page 49. This is page 49, talk of statics. So this is a force. So resistant two dimensions, you can give the magnitude F is the sum of follow x axis and the plot follow the sum of y axis. Get the square and the root. So the first of all we should find that all the force follow the x axis and the second one follow the y axis. So here f3 is follow the x axis. F2 is for y axis. Only F1. If y is not for x or y, we have to find out what is the for the x axis, what is the y axis. So of course you can do like this. You can do like this. We change it f1 to x fx fy use the formula to do to this question. But this is not a good way, not a good way because you did no time to do. Of course, you can use this formula to, to get the answer. But for now, you see, we already know this F1, the force, the four newton and the angle is 115 degree. So we can use the calculate to change from, this is the power, power coordinate number forms. We can change it from the power, change it to rectangular coordinate. It's fast. You can get the f, x, x, and y, then just do the minus to simple calculation. So, first, for the solution. The first one should be get f1 is equal to 4 newton, and is 1, 1. Fire. So we can use the calculate to get the answer quickly. So this is the Kashiro FX 115 yes plus calculate. So in on the power, first of all, you have to clear all the memory. Three. Yes. AC. So here, my calculator here, you see. And the power of the um, positive here. Plus here you have the polar and the negative here you have the rectangle REC form, REC and the polar. So you can use these two keys. But this is in the second function. You have to push the shift. So this for now this is the polar forms. We need the rectangular coordinate forms. It just simply plus shift rectangle here. You have to input this number. This is four, number four. And did the comma commas here, but this is the second function, shift, comma. Put the number 115. 115, this degree. Put the bracket, right? Get x. You can get the x is minus 1.69. This is minus 1.69. And get the, use the arrow here. Y is equal to 3.625. So y plus i j 3.625. To five. So, so we get the x, y, two and uh, two values. So we can just do the simple calculation. Fx equal this one f three 
plus this f1x is equal to 2.56 minus 1.69 equal so 2.56 minus 1.69 equal 0 0.87 this is x so if y because the same direction so this is 2.2.56 f2 plus this is 3.625 what's the number 2.56 plus 3.625 equal to 6.185 this is the y so for now we need to get the magnitude magnitude is the square is the square is this form fx square plus fy square and get the root for now here you don't need to do this square just use the calculator because this is a rectangle f if fx plus fx plus fy so it's equal to 0 0.87 plus j6.185 we need to get the polar formulas you can get the magnitude. So here, just first shift. This is the polar. Here, this is the polar. You get it. 0 point zero point eight seven. Comma. Six six point one eight five. Get what's the number? You see, R equal to 6.2458 equal to 6.25 and the anchor is 81.99 so AD 82 degree 82 degree 82 degree So the magnitude should be this 6.25 so we can find the answer here. A, B, C, D is only C, 6.25. The correct answer should be C, 6.25.